Hello and welcome everybody to some 47 game in action. The back, relax and enjoy. We've got something a little bit different. Have you ever wondered, what do you do with a build that you've seen months ago, years ago, or even just a recent build, and there's no more build updates. There's no more update guides. You don't know how to do it. 47 isn't updating all this stuff. He's not updating all these builds. Some other guy's not updating it. But how do you progress? You got to that point. League has changed. Items have changed. You don't know what the heck is where and what and who, where and why. I know, it's confusing. I'm also confused. It's totally fine. Um, this is what I wanted to do today is show you maybe some tools that you can use to potentially look at ways to upgrade your build in the way you see fit. And maybe just look at a bunch of other people, streamers, Twitch, YouTube, uh, even just other players in general and mix and match and see what works for you uh, in your own way. Because we all approach the game and we all have different perspectives. So some people want more damage, they want more tankiness, the currency, this, that, and the next thing. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you my perspective on it. Uh, again, by no means I'm like the most uh, proficient or maybe the expert in certain areas or have the knowledge on all these type of uh, different apps and how they all work in all the different ways. I just wanted to show you what I've learned and how I kind of approach certain areas. And um, it seems quite nice overall just to get a bit of but a bunch of information in and make decisions based on that so it's not going to be on my particular build uh currently it's going to be on a different build and this is what i'm going to show you guys uh if we can just switch over i probably should uh sort it out from here quick actually and we're going to go straight into it so we've been sent a build of a sorry this is with pob um we've been sent a build with uh, a detonate dead elementalist however there's no real further updates beyond the point that they've currently received uh, and they want to like maybe improve the build in terms of overall tankiness and overall damage and some people favor one some people favor the other and some people like to get both it really depends on your currency so on and so forth so do bear in mind uh, this is kind of what we would like to achieve and i want to show you maybe the process of how i go about it initially i just look at currently what the build has uh, what's the general pathing of the build What's the kind of the skills we're going to be looking at? Um, is what kind of auras we're going to be looking at? Do they have double curse? Um, what's their general skill? How it kind of functions? Is it ignite based? Is it hit based? Um, and kind of just get an overall feel of where they're going. What kind of ascendancies have they taken? Shape of flame, fashion of elements, uh, mastermind, you know, heart of destruction, so on and so forth. And how they just are generally approaching the tree, because sometimes people like to maybe path through here, or sorry, I shouldn't say players like to path through here, and here's just more efficient later on uh, in terms of saving you some passive points. It really depends on what type of brutal uh, jewels you have as well, and just get an overall feel of what the build is doing and how can we get more damage uh, while remaining relatively tanky. Um, and couple of ways you can approach this is using clusters, using jewels, and of course just investing generally in your build. Um, I'll just go through a couple of the items using a scepter with elemental overload. So, where's my mouse? That already stands out. It's kind of like three or four points. And there's a nice damage over time. Um, Marshy over here as well. And there's a node... You know, Lethal Shade as well can help with damage over time. Um, there's a Ghost on that side, but they actually got Eldrick's battery, so that's not going to be any of any use to them. So they have, like, Lethal Shade if they want to just reduce damage over time. Same with more damage over time multipliers this side. So generally, just a general overall defense if possible, and of course increase the damage. Um, and I think going a cluster in this particular setup... Is probably the way to go depending if we have the mana reservation efficiency you could probably save a point over here what is this of your energizing armor um all right we've got a couple of armor nodes over here it's a very nice node physical taken as chaos especially if you scale your chaos up um as i said let's just go back and look at the items generally pretty good scepter except for the one to five lightning damage i mean you could have why what, what you know one to five is the absolute probably minimum roll you can get on there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's look at the shield. Pretty good shield as well. But the scepter's pretty good as well. 
Kitty. What's up? You're also inspecting the build. Pretty good shield. Uh, depending on the investment, of course, is you got to take it from. Just take a step back. Investment is very different from everybody, because they were just saying they had a lot of currency this league. They didn't really make that much. Now they're making a decent amount. So how can they progress their build? They just guide kind of stops here, and that's it. Uh, they want uh, way more. Pretty decent helm as well. Pretty good rolls. Chaos rolls, life rolls, spell suppression. Defense. Uh, looking pretty good with the damage taken. Max life, additional reduction there. Um, there's the gloves. Also got a cold to attacks, which is kind of meh. Definitely elevate some of the Eldric Eat of Worlds implicit. Uh, this has gone the ailment avoidance route with Ancestral's Vision. Yeah. Okay. That's good. It's always good to look at that. Damage of a time amulet. Great. Polaric Devastation. Um, and yeah, just to get a general feel for the build. Watch his eye. So it's not a double damage. It's just a grace one. A large cluster. Dramatic Heart. Okay. Blowback. Student of Decay. Cool. And then looking at the... We'll look at the charms in a bit. Okay, so this is kind of the situation that was taken, gives you life and killing strike, and then to go through the, oh, it's at the bottom here, charms, quick, corpse life, corpse life, life, okay, cool. So what I would like to do is, I normally use a thing called POE Ninja, great application to see the trends in items, the costing, uh, equipment, give me one second. Uh, just to get a general graph of uh, certain items, currency, weapons, mapping, base types, all that type of shenanigans. Very, very amazing tool. Amazing tool. Sorry for the ads, guys. It is what it is. It's not like I have anything that can stop. You're just going to have to put up with it, unfortunately. My apologies in that regard. Um, so we're dealing with an elemental... Oh, sorry. Just to give you a little bit of a breakdown. You can come over to builds. You can look at streamers. You can share POBs. You can look at the ladder. You can look at hardcore SSF. You can look at snaps. All these different things. Um, again, these are the ascendancies you can select. You can se select by sorting by items. Who plays the most build? You can see like Tornado Shots. Very popular. Detonate Dead. And Penance Brand. And then, of course, you can scroll down more passives and atlas and bandits and pantheons and all these goodies you can sort by dps life levels amazing stuff even keystones you can show heat map it's all this amazing stuff so we are going to go over it for whatever you guys decide for your build you can definitely select any of these and look for them so we're going to select elementalist there is a no sign meaning basically if you click this everything else but that will show so that's how you can filter out some of the things um so we mentioned detonate dead. Vol detonate dead, pretty much the same thing. They are not going the. Let's just see if I can find it here. Uh, they're not going chaos inoculation. Let's just see if I can find it here. It should be under passives. There it is, chaos inoculation. We want to select it, and you're going to click this little exit just to kind of filter that out. Um, and we want to stay above. They said they want to relatively stay above 4K, and we can kind of sort by DPS. Um, this is the kind of way I'd look at it, um, and they have, of course, we should put in here, Mage Blood, this is what they have, so it just filters out even more, um, we'll filter by damage, open up a couple of people's POBs, randomly, see what they kind of do in, um, and this is what I would do, get a feel, okay, what's going on, how, what are they doing, how, what, what type of scepter, okay, they got a, normal void scepter with elemental damage so they've specced into elemental overload so things like this you got to kind of look at and address okay they have a blizzard crown why have they got a blizzard crown is it for more damage uh, ignite your deal off inflicted faster that's very very nice with a damage over time build um let's maybe look at their shield okay they got life and fire damage is extra chaos very nice and kind of just get a general feel of what people are doing double plus one nothing too crazy Again, I'm, I'm really kind of skimming over some of these things. You'll probably take a lot more time looking at POBs um, it, like in the, than in this video. You're not going to be very quick like I'm doing quite here. just a matter of saving time. 
looking at maybe a watcher's eye, looking at Forbidden Flame and Flesh. Okay, what's the pricing of that? Uh, look, he's got double cluster with medium clusters in it. What kind of um, uh, charms is he going as? How is his general tree? Okay, so they didn't go Whispers of Doom. Why not? Why didn't they go Whispers of Doom? So they're not using a double curse setup. Okay, that could be a situation to consider, you know? Uh, look at the general pathing. Path okay, they didn't really go that energizing node, so that seems like it was taken out. It's got armor, it's got there. I don't know why it's zero chaos res. There must be a reason for that, but uh, maybe he just gone full damage. I don't know. You got you can even if you're not really sure, you can even paste this into the POB as well. Um and kind of have a look around. He's got Defiance Banner, Grace, he's got flammability, elemental weakness, but I don't see how he's doing double curse. If he or the person he she the person doesn't have double curse on their setup that's interesting so you've got you got you got to kind of figure these things out a little bit unusual what forbidden flame and flesh they gone fashion of elements okay maybe if they went um there's a forbidden flame that you can take for the occultist side which you can allow you can get have additional curse so i'm not sure What's the dealio with the double curse? Maybe there's something else. Okay, let's go look at another guy. So we just remember the scepter. Pretty good scepter as well. This guy also had a do uh, double dot scepter. Yes, he did. And fire damage. Okay, so that's kind of the getting the, some of the trend with a double uh, fracture with a double level. That's kind of the feel we're getting. But we didn't play it in flesh as well. You just kind of go through this, get a feel what people are doing, how the general pathing is. Uh, this person as well. Again, not sure why exactly they don't have additional curse. They may be specced up to there. That's kind of interesting. Again, they don't have this bottom side node. They got a cluster with two mediums. Great. What's the watcher's eye looking around? Just malevolence. What's the that which was taken? They got culling strike. Cool. Let's go to the next person. Okay, this is looking giga. This is looking mega expensive. I don't. Even, I don't. Even, I don't think this, it's going to be crazy expensive. Grasping mail. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Defiance of Destiny with Blood Notch. Yep, Immutable Force. Wow, with the Door Jewel. This alone is a couple dozen Divine Ready right here. And they've just gone straight up more clusters. Okay, this is a little bit uh, different from what they w particularly want. Uh, that's a little bit crazy. We open one or two more and then we'll go to the POB. And then we can kind of see how I've approached it over here from my side. Yeah, so that's looking for spell suppression anoint. Looking pretty decent. They've gone for flat armor and energy shield, but no life. So I'm assuming they'll take the max life node. No, they didn't. That's a bit interesting. Oh, they did. See, so here's another tip. So because there's no armor on your chest piece, you can go for like a mega defensive armor. You pick up the node for more life. So this is the kind of the way I approach it. If I'm not really sure, I'll open the, I'll copy the POB, open up the POB, and have a more in-depth look at what they've done. And how the pathing path is. They've gone for Whispers of Doom. They've gone for... They didn't go for Bidden Flame of Flesh. That's a little bit interesting. They didn't go for a cluster. But they're still doing a lot of damage. So that's kind of the feel we got. So we've got to change maybe the wand. We've got to maybe look at getting a cluster. Maybe looking at uh, getting a Forbidden Flame of Flesh. Or possibly another cluster this side. Maybe try and take out Whispers of Doom. Maybe look at unspecking out of this energized armor and specking a couple points out there. That's kind of the feel I'm getting. Um, again, the process, this process is a lot longer behind the scenes when you stop and think about it. So I've done a little bit of prep from my side. And this is what we kind of have. So let's just see if I can just open it quick. Open up another path of building. Super quick here. So now I'll show you the kind of the changes I've done. We'll kind of do just a quick comparison. Uh, as this is with the config. Okay. So you can see already it looks quite similar, but different already. Some of the passives are out over here. We actually need to get a couple levels to get that jewel. Passives are out here. A couple of the points over here have been respect. Militant faith has been respect. We don't have whispers of doom there. You can see already got like a forbidden flame and flesh. So we'll just go like a l briefly through uh, what we kind of changed. You can already see we already kind of also specced into elemental overload. So I can't do a direct comparison, unfortunately, back to back. 
so you can see we specced into elemental overload we've gone for divine flesh we've taken out a brutal restraint gone for another cluster and we're going for whispers of dune so i won't be able to address all of them so we'll try and give you bit by bit so biggest thing is items the way i look at items later on um, maybe i mentioned this other video is that in the beginning of the game or in the beginning of the league or whenever whenever you do a fresh start you want items you can, sorry, you're going to be spending passives to replace items. Later on, you're going to be using currency on gear to replace passives. That's kind of what we're doing here in the situation. We're going for a big wand with damage over time. That means we need to spec into elemental overload, possibly picking up this damage over time multiplier. You can see our damage is a lot more from the previous one, almost about double. We go for a spell, uh, pretty much the shield is every much, pretty much the same except for the max chaos rays. And you're going to be wondering why maybe max chaos rays. We've gone, okay, if you're going to do bossing and maybe ubers, I would recommend maybe getting a divine flesh. Because you have Eldritch battery anyway. So it's not like the bypassing of the energy shield is going to do much for you. This allows you to kind of negate half of the elemental penetration uh, dealt by bosses. Because remember, 50% of you take won't penetrate chaos rays. And getting some chaos rays there is very very nice on top of the fact that we have the cluster here with born with of the born of the chaos get a little bit more chaos rays if you want to get a little bit more tanky in that regard so that's quite a that's a change from that side the helmet's pretty much the same only difference is we've gone for increased curse effect for the searing exarch uh, not much too much change that side next is we move on to the body armor the body armor took inspiration from the other pob there where the guy had massive armor and evasion or massive energy shield and armor i think they didn't have any life so because of that we took that big life node now i'm not sure where it is uh possibly over there the big life node if there's no life on your body armor gives us a bit more tankiness while having a very very nice body armor moves on to the gloves gloves is pretty much the same however we went for elevated fire dot multi just for more damage the boots pretty much the same. I said you could go this avoid shock boots, um, which you use with a shroud, storm shroud jewel. Similar effects to the uh, ancestral's vision, up to them. Uh, we've swapped out the polaric devastation simply because we get cover enemies or unique or rare enemies on hit with the initial um, detonate dead, allowing us to free up a slot so we can get a very big helic ring. Which get fire dot multi, fire damage over uh, fire damage uh, and damage over time multi with big raises and possibly life. Uh, on top of that, looking at the ring with a fire dot multi, no double plus one. Only thing is they've added whispers of doom. By doing so, we freed up a couple passive points. And there's a lot more to this build that we had to chop and change. Here, even we've added in a, another large cluster with a uh, forbidden flame and flesh setup. So they're going to be taking shapers of storm and they get a bastion of elements that way so there's a lot to the build i just wanted to quickly just run over the type of build i was looking at to maybe help somebody on top of that where i looked at with poe ninja you can look at the streamers i can maybe go back to that side let's just see if i can open it up uh, let me just see if i can bring another one through so you can even go to uh, like i said you can go to streamers as well um let's see Again, apologies for the ad. We can go to streamers as well and see what they're doing. Who streamer, which streamers are playing what? What type of build are they playing? They're playing Blade Vortex. They're playing this. They're doing that. Uh, what type of element? Let's just say, who's out of the streamers, who's playing Elementalist? Okay, they're doing Herald of Thunder. They're doing this. They're doing Explosive Arrow. Okay, maybe Detonate. This guy over here, maybe you should look at. He can maybe give you a bit more updates on it, like a direct update. So looking at the streamers, looking at other builds, get a feel for it. You can compare uh, your build to theirs and see how you want to kind of approach it. You can even look at these. Uh, so passive heat map. This generally shows you where most people have specced. A lot of people spec this side. A lot of people kind of spec towards the um, Eldritch Battery and maybe Whispers of Doom. It just gives you an overall feel of, of Detonate Dead players. Where do they exactly go? Okay, there a lot of them path up this way. A lot of them path over here. And that can kind of help you gauge where the general populace is going, which can kind of give you, lead you in a good direction. Um, so there's all these different uh, things you can do with PoE Ninja. I know I've rambled on. It's more, they might just look at the video and kind of say, okay, this is what I should be doing. 
and generally yeah this is i just wanted to show you guys how you can look at your build uh if you're not if you're kind of lost and don't know how to approach it this is just with a de like for example a data and a dead and how i've kind of changed it even though i'm not super maybe knowledgeable in a lot of areas with poe in general with this pob and then using poe ninja kind of look at the other people's builds what they're looking at how i can kind of incorporate some of their passives or items into this into your build or into this build and make it even better more damage more survivability and just generally where can you invest if there is no if there's no pob or if there's no update this is what you can do to take steps if your favorite youtuber or streamer is not playing the particular build or they haven't updated their guide and this is what i do from my side for some of the build well quite quite a number of the builds and this is what you can do uh, from your side guys i know it's a little lengthy lengthy video i no, it's rushed, but just do bear in mind it's a lot more behind the scenes that you need to look at. Um, so if you just take it at a holistic approach and not individually particular items I've been pointing at, just as overall, okay, here's the tools. Here you can kind of use it, and this is how you can kind of approach it. Uh, there's maybe more better ways and more in-depth guys, so on and so forth. So yeah, check you guys. Thank you very much for checking it, popping in, and I share your thoughts on PoE Ninja and POBs. Maybe there's some things we're lacking we can learn a lot from and yeah guys take it easy look after yourself i hope this kind of helped uh, the general message is use poe use pob and go from there to improve your build and keep on smashing and clapping guys thank you very much check you on the flip side look after yourself eat well sleep well and be well this is 47 gaming signing out